Okie dokie. So 7.09 um, numbers. And what we're going to be doing in this unit is talking about years. So we're dealing with, for the most part, all four digit years. We're not going to get into, uh, you know, 33 BC, although those aren't that hard. But the main thing we're going to focus on is four digit years. Generally speaking, we're going to be talking mainly about um, recent ones. So using 20 a lot. Um, oh, I have to add in. Yeah. Um, all right. So there are five different categories that we're going to sort of break this down into. First is just basic generic two pairs of numbers. 1945, uh, 1502. What a good year. Um, so those are the basic ones. Then years with 11 to 15. Then years beginning with 20. Um, and years with 0109, and then also years with two zeros in the middle. Uh, obviously, we're talking, uh, we've gone past that point, but um, if you're looking back and talking about the past, there are some slightly different ways we sign them. Now, the reason why we break them up this way, same as when we look at numbers 1 through 100, 11 to 15 are dealt with slightly differently. 20 is different. So, and, and I'll expand on each of those when we get to each unit. The new vocab uh, is looking at five years. Um, okay, cat. Go on up. Go on up. So I have a cat that's about to knock stuff down off of the bookshelf. So I just cleared it up. Okay. So we're going to look at, uh, on the right column, a whole bunch, right column, a whole bunch of years. And then on the, uh, the, Left column, last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. Next year, two years from now, three years from now, four years from now, five years from now. Okay. Those are the most common ones. And again, remember we talked about the rule of nine where um, uh, we could incorporate a number into the, uh, the number handshape into the sign by replacing the handshape. Um, that's what we're doing here. Now, we can go up until 9, but that gets really confusing. 1 to 5 is the are very simple. They're very clear. Um, and that's why we're only going to deal with 5. Because in conversation, that's how we use these. 1 year to 5 years. So that's the vocab. And again, I'll go over each of these when we get to uh, when we sign them. So the first thing, basic year numbers. Simple steps. Give the first pair of numbers a little, a little bit, maybe a little bit towards the center as opposed to where you'd normally fingerspell here. Maybe start a little bit in. It's not really a big deal. So 19. I was born in 1967. And you could do a little rock. 19. Now, normally when we sign 19, you would see people do this or this and sometimes this. We're going to use this, so 19, um, because we don't want to make it confusing where we say, oh, 19 is the entire, entire number, and then there's another separate number. We're putting them together in a pair, so we're going to very simplify the movement so it's very precise. So 1967, 1967. So we wouldn't go 1967. That would be very confusing because the 19 completes itself. You're shifting your hand slightly to the outside for the second pair of numbers, and then you sign it. So 19, 19. I would do 19 here, and then pull it over and do it a little bit outside. So 19, 19. We know that first pair, second pair. Really simple. Any Basically any four numbers you can do that with. And here's a video where she shows examples good and bad. 1984, 1984. So notice how I'm 19 and 84. I just went a little bit to the outside. And if you're left-handed, 1984. So it drifts to the outside, same as with finger spelling. <coughs> then 1992, 1975. Okay, so you can do it with any numbers. Uh, write down birth dates of everybody in your family and then go through it. Or uh, 
there's an activity that someone posted in one of the teacher shares where it was going through the release years of Disney movies. And that's an activity we could do if, you know, but after about five minutes, I get bored. So, so you can practice any way you would like. Go down IMDb of your favorite movies and what year were they released? So now we're gonna talk about 11 to 15. Now, normally we repeat it a couple of times, right? 15, 14, 13, 12. This time we generally do it once. Again, we're looking for the most efficient way. So 1911. Now what it looks like is 1901, but this is a no. Now I also tend to, I repeat them twice. Love it. Like the first one's like sort of a stutter. But, but. I have found as an interpreter that is clearer. And I know a lot of deaf people who do it. 1911. 1911. Almost as if it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, 1913. Uh, so you'll see 1913 or 1913. It's this, that's this, that is the, the 10 for 10, nine, 10, three. Okay. 10, four. Good buddy. 10, five. So there are two ways you're going to see and that you can do. Um, so 1913 or 1913. I tend to do the latter. Um, the book is pushing a, uh, more of a West Coast approach. 1913, 1913, 10-3, 10-3. So practice both of them. Both of them. One of them will feel more awkward than the other. Although since you're all in ASL two, they mo they both might feel awkward. So practice them both. Uh, I have a hard time doing the 13 just because I am not used to it, to my brain that reads as a three. I need to remind myself that it's 10, three. And again, there's a, a video where you can watch her do it. 1911, 14, see, 1492, I do 14. It's just two, two flicks. 1492. No, 1492. 1913. So I disagree with the book, but I want you to learn both of them so that you can recognize when they're being used and you can choose which way works. And oftentimes it'll change depending on the community you're in. Uh, if you're in a city where they do it one way, uh, if they do 16 like this, you're going to start emulating them or else people always go, Oh, you're not from around here, are you? Okay. So now years beginning with 20. So the first set of numbers, the 20 is repeated, 20. But again, I do 2002, 2005, 2003, 2015, 20. Uh, and I do know that there are some people who do 2015. To me, that... That, that's just not the way I learned it. Um, so again, do both. Because what they do in Ohio versus what they do in other city, Berkeley, California, which is where this book was written, are slightly different in a lot of different areas. So learn them both. Be able to choose which one. I'm far past the point of being able to choose them, so I'm sorry. You've got an old teacher. Um, and again, first set of numbers, second set of numbers. In, out. It doesn't have to be huge, just just a slight movement. And there's a video of her showing it. Um, and some examples. Then, years ending with 01 and 09. Once again, I think if we talked about it before, we use the O. 09, 08, 09, 08, 07, 06, 05, 04, 03, 02, 01. So 20, 01. 2001. That's why it looks confusing, right? Because it looks like that or that. So I, I, that's why I think 11 is a little clearer. Um, so now just do 01, 0, 09, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05. Okay. So include those. 
put the zero. So we wouldn't go 1907. Even in English, we tend to go 1907. Some older folks may say, in 1907, I used to, uh, I used to ride my cow into town to buy milk. Found it ironic, right? So, uh, 01, 02. So we need that O. Same thing with times, same thing with money, 05. Now, with the zero in the middle, we're actually going to slide like we do in fingerspelling when we slide a letter. So 1, 0, 0, 2, 2001. It'll often look like this, 2001. So there's some debate about whether it's 2001 or it's 2000, 2001, just without this hand. So I've seen it both ways, 2001, 2001. 2001. Just drop it down like you're signing again, or like you're signing thousand. Um, and then the last number is always going to be palm out. One, two, three, four, five. So even if even one, two, three, four, five is not palm back, it's one, two, three, four, five. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Okay. Um, 2000. Two, oh, oh, oh. 2000. Um, I do note that there tends to be a drop down to the zero. It's not just vu. It's to, it's like it drops down and then slides over. If that helps. And that's why 2002 dips down and then comes back up. I'm not a 2002. It's a Nixon reference. You're all too young to know that. All right. So then practicing them. Now we get to the uh, incorporating the handshape and the number. So past, we can all sign all of those numbers, right? So now if we look at 2020, that's last year, there's a couple different ways we can sign it. You can sign past year, right? But that's just generic, right? That's past. It could be any year in the past. Now we're talking about one year past. So one year past past one year. Okay, so either way. Um, if you remember, we did week and next week, right? So we, there's the week and then there's the week after. Week, next week. A similar thing can be done with year. So we know year past one, one year past. That's the generic sign, right? The simplest way of doing it with the one handshake. We can do this, eliminate that year, and shoot one year behind us. But one year. You can also do one year in front of you. One year future. And really, all that's happening is the contraction, the apostrophe, is getting put in. So we don't have to do this. We just go boom, whoosh, boom, boom, and my camera just Slow down, hopefully didn't mess it up. So year future, year past. And I tend to, or you can brush right by it. Poo, next year, uh, next year. We also use it for annual, year after year after year after year. Um, two years in the future, two years in the past. Two years future, two years past. Three years future, three years past. Four, four. Five, five. And you can do it with style. Pa. Don't worry about that till next year. Or, oh, we did that last year. So there can be flair. Um, here at Tchotchkes, we like flair. Um, and then this year. Now year. So again, you're incorporating the hand shape. So it's, it's year, an abbreviated version. And then the number pops out in the direction that you're talking about. Future, past. So practice that. It's a little bit weird. Watch the video. Uh, hello. Oh, you know what?
there is no video for this one. So I need to incorporate a video. Um, I probably, I, my goal is if I, if I'm able to find or just make it and cut, put them in and then just say, do a practice of five years ago, you circled the number, but then every year I have to change this slide and the textbook I, uh, well, I just had to change it to 2021 and I don't want to have to put that much work into it. I know it seems like not a lot of work, but, um, just roll with me. Your brain will work and you can do it yourself. Now, uh, the activities in the book are that uh, you're going to watch a video and jot down what year they're talking about with each of these different things. If you know it, great. I want you on my team at Trivia Night. If you don't know it, just watch the video. And they're going to talk about some event and when it happened, and then they're going to give the year. They're going to be in a random order. And all you have to do is go through and write down what is the date now, or what is the year. I'm going to put each vi video in order. I won't give any clue as to what the answer is. Um, so just take note. Um, I didn't number them again because um, I don't want to give the order. So just jot down and then I'll have the answers included with each one. And then at the end of this, I will have... Um, Here's um, a bonus question where she says, in this year, I will be this age, so what age am I now? Um, just a, a little bit more um, applied. Oh, no, no, I don't. Okay. All videos. All right, so then I included all of the student videos in one file, uh, and that should be every single one of them. I don't think any are missing from that. So 7.9 is literally years, four digits, two pairs. That's the main thing you have to work on. And then adding in the um, one to five years in the future, one to five years in the past versus this year. And we use now as opposed to this, this year, because this means location. This and here are both location where this is time because that line of now is right in front of you. Hello, Dodger. All right, so that is 